Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, as some of you might know, the Bifron anti-cheat has recently released on Roblox. And as a result of that, pretty much all of the executors have stopped supporting the browser version of the game as of right now. Now, there are still some executors offering a workaround to still be able to exploit in Roblox, which I'll be showing you today. So make sure you watch the video to the very end so you don't miss any steps. Um, there are still some developers trying to bypass Bifron. And once that does happen, I will be sure to make a video on that as well. But as of right now, this is the only method to still exploit in Roblox, um, unless you still want to count the Android. So if you if you want to exploit on Android and iOS, that is still working. Um, but when it comes to using the executors on PC, this is the only method that works right now. So the very first thing you need to do is, of course, make sure you're on Windows 10 or 11. This will not work on... Um, any other operating systems it does work on android as well which i will be making a video on eventually um, or very soon actually um, but yeah so if you're on windows 10 you want to go into the bottom left corner and click on your windows key if you're on windows 11 you want to click over here go ahead and search for virus and threat protection go ahead and open that up and you want to go into manage settings right here so go ahead and click on manage settings and turn off real-time protection this is really important i'm sure you're familiar with this you will be able to turn it back on in a little while i will show you what you need to do before you turn it back on so go ahead and turn this off it will give you a little pop-up go ahead and click yes and it will turn it off once you've turned that off you can close out of that and go into the first link in the description which will be the fluxus download link over here you will get the button to or the option to click here once you click here it will take you to a new page um, if it gives you the same page again, go ahead and click it again and it will take you to this page right here. Over here, you're going to click on this button right here um, and it's going to start a little countdown. You don't even have to do this little download over here. Go ahead and close out of that and it's going to have a little countdown. Once the countdown completes, it will give you the, the download link um, and you will be able to download the executor from there. So once you do have the executor download, downloaded, um, you, you will see a similar folder to this. Go ahead and right click the folder and click on extract all. Go ahead and click on extract and it will open up a new folder for you or it will generate a new folder for you. Go ahead and open that up. Go ahead and go inside the folder and double click the Fluxus V7. Click on more info, click on run anyway and that will start the download for you. It should open up the executor. There we go. Go ahead and click on next and choose the top option which says current path install Fluxus to the current running path in a new folder. Go ahead and click that and it will start downloading the files for you. Here we go and it will open up Fluxus in around 5 seconds so you can just wait um, for it to open. Here we go. So now we've got Fluxus opened as well. So go ahead and close out of everything once you have done that. You can now delete the original folder as well because you've got the Fluxus uh, executor folder right here. Go ahead and open that up again. Go inside this folder. Go inside here and you should have all of the files now created. Make sure you don't open this again. This is just to install Fluxus. The actual Fluxus application is right here. So once you do have that, don't open it for now. Go back into virus and threat protection. Go into manage settings once again. Scroll all the way down until you see exclusions. Go ahead and click on add or remove exclusion. Click on add an exclusion and choose folder. Once you choose folder, go ahead and click on wherever you have the, the, the Fluxus executor downloaded. So for me, it's on my desktop right here. So go to my desktop, go ahead and single click it. Make sure you don't double click and it opens the folder for you. Just single click and make sure it's highlighted like this. And then go ahead and click on select folder. Make sure it has been added into your exclusions. As you can see, for me, it's right here. Oh, it's right here, sorry. Um, once that does happen, then you can go back and you can go up at top again and you can turn on your real-time protection once again. The reason you have to do this is because your computer doesn't know that this Fluxus is not a verified application, right? So the moment you open it, your computer automatically gets rid of it, thinking that it's a virus. It's, I promise you it's not a virus. <laughs> it's, a, it's a trusted application. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much why you have to do the, these steps right here. All right, now once you've done that, you'll be able to go back into your Fluxus folder. Make sure you don't launch this. Just go in here and open this up right here. Now, if this is your first time using Fluxus, it will ask you to generate a key. I will be showing you how you can get the key. So it won't open up looking similar to this. It will have a little option to get the key. Um, so go ahead and click that and it should copy the URL of the link to your clipboard, which you can then paste into your browser to get the key. Um, or it should just open up the link for you. So for me, uh, here is the link right here to get the key. Um, you want to just go ahead and click over here and click on whatever it's asking you to do for me it's doing dumbbells so let's go ahead and do that once you do that it will take you to the link vertize now over here you want to click on free access 
and it will take you to the next checkpoint right here um it will take you a second to load so just just wait for, wait for it to complete and there we go so over here again just go ahead and click on free access um now if it does give you a little offer uh in most cases it will go ahead and click on i'm interested and at the bottom uh you can just click i've already completed the offer so i'm not getting the ability to do that right now um i think link word ties might actually be down yeah i think it is down at the time that i'm making this video hence why it's not letting me generate a key but luckily i already have a key um but yeah so that's pretty much how you get the key you have to complete the steps oh there we go it's working now you have to do the steps three times and here we go so i've gotten my key um i already have a key so i don't need to use this but you need to do this step every 24 hours to get a new key okay now if you're watching this video within the tw first 24 hours technically you could still use this key uh, if you wanted um but yeah so that's pretty much how you get the key you enter the key into the executor and you basically go into the executor all right so now we've gotten our key we're ready to use the executor i will go through some of the settings of the executors just so you know what to use what not to use and then we'll go into the actual showcase so over here you've got the script box so you can actually search for scripts of your choice in here so if you want a game or if you want a script uh, script <laughs> sorry for the doors game you can search for doors and it will give you a bunch of scripts for doors if you want to search for jailbreak or it could be any game um it will give you a bunch of scripts for that game for example yeah up next we've got the settings now i recommend turning all of these on auto attach is really important to have it basically automatically attaches into the game so you don't have to press inject every time you go into a new game you also got topmost and also internal ui which i recommend having on for a safer way to execute um, but yeah that's pretty much all of the settings i recommend having all of these toggled on uh, and then you can go back over to this icon right here now the next thing you need to do is go and open your microsoft store so if you don't have it pinned at the bottom you can just search for it here by searching for microsoft store right here and at the top search for roblox and you, you should be able to find the roblox game just like this go ahead and open that up and download it once you have it installed you will be able to open it up just like this and now i'll go ahead and jump into a game and i will show you pretty much how this um executor works so before you even go into a game uh, i feel like it's a faster injection if you click inject one time right here so just go ahead and click inject before you even go into a game and now we can go ahead and jump into any game of our choice so let's go into um here and you can see in the bottom right corner it says fluxus uwp has injected um, let me go ahead and grab a script for this game and we can then go into the actual showcase so it has injected now it should be completely working just give me a second i will come back with a script and we'll go into the actual showcase all right here we go so i've just gotten the infinity yield script which is sort of like an admin script as you can see right here and let me go ahead so this is basically floor, floor is lava so similar to maybe like an obby but not really so let's go ahead and walk for a map over here and let me go ahead and turn on fly here we go you can see i'm pretty much flying around the map let me also turn on no clip so i can go through things and there we go so i'm pretty much flying and i'm able to yeah so the, the way this game works is um there's going to be lava coming from the floor eventually and you're not meant to touch the lava um in my case of course i'm pretty much flying so i'm not going to be touching the, the lava and i can also increase my fly speed i've got no clip so i can go through buildings i can but that's pretty much how the script works guys um if you do have any questions you can feel free to join the discord server in the description below or you can also leave a comment in the comment section and i will be sure to reply back to you um once there is a, a bypass for the bifron anti-cheat i will definitely be making a video on that so make sure you're subscribed for that as well and you can see the script is definitely working um, we've won that round by just flying around the map and other people can also see me flying around the map um but yeah that's just one of the many many scripts you can use with executors and yeah that's pretty much the end of the video guys hopefully you did enjoy if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching